Hi, I'm Jim Madsen. I'm a commissioner in Southern Utah in Kane County. I'd like to visit with you a little bit about forest policy, forest lands in, in the West and throughout the country. I thought I'd uh, also kind of point out that we're at a wonderful time in this debate and discussion about what to do about our public lands and, and what occupies them. We have a, a great number of choices that we can make and I think that the choices that we need to understand is where have we come from, what are our, our conditions that we're in today, and where we'd like to see ourselves you know, moving toward. This country has already been through a, a, a real stormy period as it relates, let's say, to forest policy in the late 1800s and early 1900s. In fact, I think that was the genesis of what, what turned out to be the modern forest service of today. Well, the modern forest service of today has evolved into a series of gridlock and things being tied up due to public lands policy and pressure and environmental pressure. We are no longer really in the multiple use business. We need to be thinking about what it takes to have healthy landscapes with healthy forests and the beneficiaries thereof. Everything from wildlife to nearby communities. Uh, you, let, let me provide a little analogy for you. I, I think it's important to understand that if, if we, in our own homes we left the water on in our yards, let's say for 15 years or 20 years, and didn't touch it and didn't come back to it in that period of time, I doubt that you could get into the front door if it hadn't burned down already or some insect infestation had come along and, and knocked it off. We're also up, up against the, the, the problems of forest stand conditions which are already decadent and over mature and already under stress because of ongoing drought and other moisture related problems. If you look at the situation as if forest fires, let's say, was the bank robber, that's, that's exactly what we're up against, is that we're letting our resources just go right out the window or up in smoke. On the other hand, decadent, over mature, overstocked forests are in a different condition, and they're slowly deteriorating and no longer existing because of insects and disease. Insects and disease would be comparable to an embezzler. And how long does it take to catch an embezzler? We just haven't had that focus. And for right now, the opportunities are huge. And we ought to be looking at those in such a way that uh, state, state involvement, even state control, not necessarily sale of public lands, but state control of what takes place on these nearby landscapes can protect our counties and our communities and ensure health and human safety for all of our citizens to enjoy instead of having it just blow up one day and, and be gone in, in a puff of smoke. So I'm here to implore that we, that we try to figure out how to in, inject ourselves in, into this debate and do away with conditions and situations from a policy standpoint, such as NEPA, that unnecessarily constrain us. That's our opportunity. We ask for your support. Thank you.